Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we're going to take a look at the new Haunt Couture Claudine Wolf from Monster High. They are re-releasing some of the original dolls here through Mattel Creations as kind of a collector's line. Um, so stay tuned as we take a look at her, get her out of her box and go over all of her details. And I definitely want to know what you guys think. Okay, so um, Monster High, for those of you that might not be too familiar, although I think most doll collectors are, was a line of dolls started back in, I believe it was early 2010. Um, and then they kind of let the line go, I guess, or canceled the line in 2018. They've had a few revamps here. They did um, some collector dolls through uh, Mattel Creations with the um, Red Rum Little Sisters from The Shining. They did uh, the It from It, of course. Uh, that one was creepy as all get out. Uh, they did the Beetlejuice dolls set, and then now they are re-releasing their Monster High, starting off with, of course, three. Um, my Frankie Stein has not shipped yet. Claudine Wolf is here, so we're gonna go ahead and take a look at her box first, of course. So we do have this cute coffin-shaped box. I love the design on this. We've got some embossing on it kind of here uh, with a little bit of metallic shine to the pink that's on there. We have a pleather placard here that has the phases of the moon kind of going across the top. Monster High, Haunt Couture, Bones. I love that little Monster High skull and then a wolf paw. Um, on the back, of course, it's just the same design. On the bottom here, I did want to point out, it does state, let me see if I can get it to focus. Monster High Couture Claudine Wolf Doll. This product is intended for adult collectors and is not intended for children under the age of 14 years. So this is definitely not, um, I cannot get, there we go. 14 years, so it's not for children at all. It does say it includes one doll, one doll stand, two accessories, one diary, and a certificate of authenticity. So it does say these were uh, 2021. Um, obviously they didn't release until 2022, but nonetheless, uh, what we're gonna do now is gonna go ahead and get the box open and take a look at Claudine herself. So right off the bat on the inside of the front part of the coffin, you'll see here there is a little pocket here that has the diary of Claudine Wolf. It says this diary belongs to Claudine Wolf. Just because it's a lost diary doesn't mean you can read it. <laughs> um, now I know a lot of people have gone through and read this entire diary. Um, I have not yet. I just got Claudine yesterday, so I have not had a chance to kind of look through and read through all of it. Um, I probably will. I know there are some people that have done it, I think out on Instagram, uh, probably even some here on YouTube, um, but I heard it's kind of a fun read, so I definitely read that later. But that is right off the bat when you open up the um, front portion of the box. This diary is just kind of sitting here in this little pocket like that. Now the other thing, and I'm gonna grab it here, that is sitting on top of the box is her certificate of authenticity. It comes in this, mine just kind of slid right out. This is her COA. You gotta pause and read it there, you can. So that is their certificate of authenticity. It does come with every single um, of these Haunt Couture Monster High dolls. Now, the other thing, obviously, of course, is Claudine herself. Now, I'm going to take this plastic dust cover off for glare purposes. Um, but you can see here, she is perfectly posed in the box. We're going to go ahead and get her out of the box here. But I did want to show you how she looks in the box first. I love that they've got like the cloth lining, but it's not really cloth, but made to look like cloth lining on her. But yeah, now we're going to go ahead. We're going to get her out of the box. I definitely want to know what you guys think. OK, so now we have Claudine out. And let me just say this doll is wicked cool. I always wanted to get Monster High back in the day, but I always felt kind of weird being a dude buying dolls. So I never did. Um, and then of course I got into the Disney realm and now I no longer care. <laughs> um, so I'm really excited to finally be able to start getting the Monster High line again. Um, these things are so, so fun. Like they are really, really different from pretty much everything in my entire collection. Um, I remember seeing some really wicked cool ones. And so I'm hoping they kind of remake some of those. If not, I will just go back and buy all the old ones now um but anyhow as always we're going to start with the first things first and of course that being the accessories so she does come with this metallic high uh metallic brush here of course that says monster high has the monster high skull on it the uh the comb teeth on it whatever you want to call it there um obviously this is for me just for show i don't really use the brushes that the dolls come with ever on any doll that i buy um except for every now and then because i'm in a hurry i might use one of the rainbow high uh combs to brush out the hair like for instance i just got the original poppy <laughs> and her hair was a disastrous mess but i used the i thought what the heck i'm gonna use a rainbow high comb on it and it actually worked but super super cute doll um anyhow 
uh, back to Claudine here. So the original Claudine released a long time ago. Um, I'm, I've been trying to find an original for a while. Uh, once I saw that these were re-releasing, I kind of been out there looking and one of my buddies, Kelly, he's been kind of helping me discern whether it's from the first wave or the re-release wave that they did. Um, so, you know, I'm just kind of see, I want to do a kind of a comparison just for myself to see what the old looks like against the new. So if I'm able to find one, I'll probably do a video about that. Um, there's a lot of them out there, but a lot of them are either already deboxed or they're missing some ice um, accessories or they don't have the clothes or they're missing an arm or a hand or a leg. And I'm like, oh my golly, craziness. Anyhow, all that aside, the other accessory that she comes with, of course, is her uh, three piece stand. So we do have the Monster High stand here. You can see there in metallic, um, the clear plastic stand part. And then of course, up here, there is the clip, the waist clip, which is, you know, of course, completely different for Monster High because their waists are itty bitty tiny. So for review purposes, of course, I'm going to take that off. I'm going to stick that here. I did um, have some fun with this. I took all the plastic pieces out. I took all the thread out, all the rubber bands, and I actually ended up taping the back of this together so that she will have something to stand in. Uh, I thought it'd be kind of fun to give her something cool to look at. Now, let's go ahead and take a look at Claudine herself. She is so well done, guys. I know these, I mean, these are $75. It does stay on the box. You know, it is intended for the adult collector um, or children over the age of 14, which at that point, they're not children, they're teenagers. Um, so they are a little on the pricey side. They do have some smaller parts. So of course, there's the choking hazard uh, when it comes to small children. But more importantly, when I look at this, I don't look at this and think toy. I look at this and think this is a collector's item, which normally I would not debox this type of a thing, but I've seen her out of the the box and I had to get her out of the box <laughs> so I got her out of the box um she I'm gonna go over her accessories first before we get to the doll so here on her right hand she has a full knuckle ring that says a monster and it is right now rubber banded to her hand because she also has her purse you can see there um the purse has a metal chain comes down to this cute little uh, purse here with a faux zipper a little faux fur lining plastic um that goes around it super super cute little purse here i am going to take this off here in a second because i do want to be able to take her jacket off on her other hand here she has um like a cuff bracelet that has a dangle charm it looks like a little coin purse again this one is rubber banded to her so you know that of course i'll be taking off here in a second too she also has in her ear she has these um i think they might be attached no, no, they're punched through, they just don't move. She has two gold hoops on this ear, and then she has a bar earring in this ear. You can kind of see it there, just four little gold studs, or excuse me, purple studs. And then she has a headband, which is tied in, which that I will leave, which has um, some gold spikes going across. And then for her necklace, you can see here, it is a molded gold uh, plastic two chain, three chains with a moon. And then there's like a dog collar up at the top, which of course, you know, Claudine Wolf, dog cute i love the little plan words there super super cute um so i do like that and then her shoes are so so cool um i'm kind of afraid to take one off but i'm going to take one off simply so i can show it to you guys there we go Woo! um so here is one of her shoes let me see if i can get it to focus there we go super high heel on this one some gold uh studs on there um it's open toe of course you can see there we've got the moon again claudine wolf um, you know, werewolf, all that kind of cool, cool stuff. I mean, they really tie everything into these things. I think that's really cool. She does have on some pretty cool stockings, you know, that kind of go through that uh, shoe there. So again, they just, the attention to detail on the collector scale is really, really well done with these ones. I am very, very happy with them. Um, they turned out really nice. So there you can see, get it to focus. There we go. And then what I thought was weird is they're, they're, pivot joints are different um they of course go back and forth but then the the calf spins all the way around so kind of cool there so you know a lot of people do like the turned in toes you can do that really really easily with them um so now what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna get the jacket off the accessories off her hands and we'll take a look at claudine herself okay so now she is accessory free meaning jacket off purse off um we can take a better look at claudine herself so she does have rooted hair and it is very well rooted um i gotta get that little tie out there still um nice curls i will kind of go in here and fix these up afterwards I literally have not touched her hair um, since I got her out. So I do want to make this look a little less 
messy. Um, so we'll get there, but it looks like it'll be a pretty easy brush job. So not a problem there. I love that the hair splits around her ears. I think that's really cool. Um, so you can really showcase those ears really, really well. Coming to her face. Oh my goodness, I love her face mold. I absolutely love this face mold. It's so, so well done. The paint job, I think it's it's probably screen printing. Yep, it is. But it's just really, really immaculate. She's got some like purple blue eyeshadow uh, on the bottom there. She has rooted eyelashes, which are perfect. I love that they painted little fangs on her mouth. I think it's just really, 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 really cute. They did a very, very good job, I think, with these. And of course, you know, old Monster High dolls probably have the exact same face mold and that's all fine and good. Minute differences over the years, I'm sure. But I know Claudine's been done quite a few times. But uh, again, very, very well done for this collector's line. Very, very, very nice. She does uh, have, I'm going to move this out of the way here, this little gold overlay mesh shirt on, that goes over this really brightly colored um, top here, you can see. Now, of course, this shirt is Velcro. So if you do want to take it off, you certainly can. You can see there, it does on Velcro. And then there's like a little halter top that's got that, that bright colors on there. Um, I will leave that on though. She does also have this pleather purple skirt, which of course, since their waists are really funky and high up, like her waist is up here. Um, it's a kind of an elongated, but not mini skirt. Um, I love the little ruffle flare part at the bottom here. We have little brass tacks that go all the way around, some gold threading to show like the pockets and what would have been the jean zipper. Underneath there is a um, portion of the skirt that is like a crinoline, a black tool that of course gives just a little extra pizzazz to the design of the skirt there. It too is Velcro. You can see that there in the back. And of course, like I already showed you her shoes, but she also does have these really nice, um, kind of like a lace knit stocking. Um, mine is, there we go. Folks, turned around. Mine is now where it needed to be. It was all scrunched up at the bottom. But she does have on these lace stockings there too, which are a really nice touch. I do like those quite a bit. Um, kind of just kind of adds to that spooky fun, kind of like spider web look, you know, just to the, get that haunt, the haunt couture in there, which I think is really, really cool. Points of articulation, obviously you can move her head all the way around. Uh, at the shoulder, she can move her arm all the way around there as well out and uh, in just a little bit. Um, the elbow is another point of articulation. We can spin and turn. And then also at her hands, uh, at the wrist here, you can swivel those all you want. Speaking of her hands, look at the claws on that. That's amazing. I love that little detail. Um, there is no articulation in her actual body itself, uh, but then at her leg, of course, we have front and back. At the knee, we can swivel completely. And then of course, front and back there too when it's in the right spot. Because if you want, I guess you can go no matter where it's at, you can't, except for this way, you can't go too far. But yeah, so she does have decent articulation. Um, for these, I mean, a lot of people probably are gonna leave them in the box uh, and that's all fine and good. I got mine out because I wanted her out. <laughs> I'm finding I want more and more of my dolls out of the box than in. So uh, that is kind of fun, actually. You can just do more. <laughs> so, but anyhow, that is the Claudine Wolf from the new Haunt Couture Monster High Collector's line that has been released here by Mattel Creations. Um, I am super glad I got her. Now I'm just patiently waiting for Frankie Stein to uh, arrive. So hopefully she ships soon. I know some people had them ship off the, right off the bat. Others like myself are still waiting. Um, so hopefully mine doesn't get lost, but we shall see. And of course, when she does, I will do a review on her and take her out of the box as well. Also, if I'm able to find a first wave of of the Claudine Wolf doll. I will do kind of a comparison just to kind of look at what they were to what they are now. Um, that way you guys can kind of see that uh, and go from there. But yes, I'm really looking forward to this. I'm hoping they do quite a few of these dolls. I think they are a lot of fun. Um, and uh, yeah, I just, I'm really, really excited that I'm able to get into Monster High again. Uh, like I said, because years ago I saw them, wanted to get them, especially the mermaid ones, but I didn't um, just because out of silly fear of, you know, being thought of being weird <laughs> as a guy buying dolls but now i don't care so really looking forward to being able to start up this line and have some fun with it and hopefully you guys are enjoying it as well okay so that is going to do it for my review of claudine wolf i hope you guys enjoyed if you have any questions of course leave those in the comments down below uh she is sold out at this time as is frankie and uh, Frankie took a, uh, like a matter of, I think, an hour or two 
Claudine was available for a few days. Um, so I don't know if it's just she's not as popular or people just weren't sure what to expect or what, but she was not a pre-order, which is kind of nice. Frankie was. Um, so I guess we shall see what the third one is and uh, what that release will be like, whether or not it's going to be a pre-order. Or if it'll just be like Claudine and just there she is and you can order and then she'll ship soon. So hopefully, but we shall see. So anyways, hope you guys enjoyed. If you have questions or comments, leave those down below. I'll be more than happy to answer them. And yeah, I will be coming at you guys again tomorrow with another video. So stay tuned. Make sure you hit the subscription button as well as a notification bell and i hope you guys are having an extra magical day and we'll see you real soon